I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you so much for joining us today on a 63 Pro Touring Corvette. A lot of people say, well, Tony, I hear a Pro Touring Corvette. I hear all kinds of, what, what exactly is a Pro Touring Corvette? I'll share with you my thoughts on that. My thoughts on that are this. This car is stunning, right? Maybe you're not a collector. Maybe you don't need to have a collection of 14 of these with matching numbers with the original air in the tires from 1963, but you love the look of it, man. You love the look of it, but you don't love the way an old school car drives, right? Or how an old school car smells. Maybe your wife or significant other won't ride in the car with you or your husband won't ride in the car with you because it smells like gas, right? Well, this has eliminated all of those issues because what we're gonna get is a modern undercarriage of all of this with a beautiful old school spectacular body first year design and we are going to look at details of this and i think by the time we're going to have to find a way to get it in your garage all right so i get it all the time people say hey tone that's a beautiful car but we don't really know why it's a beautiful car think about this for a second this car circa 1963 right styling changed all new model this is what we're talking about. Look at the style of this car. Two completely separate bumpers. The grills are down below there. There is no mistaking this car for a Vega, a Nova, a Mustang. No way. This is the deal. However, right, maybe it doesn't drive as well as you want. So we've added some things to it to make it what we call pro touring. Pro touring means that you can go. It's a professional restoration, but it's also a touring car too. You could go away for the weekend in this car and feel really good about it. Like for instance, Okay, we're talking about 17 inch wheels with big four wheel disc brakes wrapped all the way inside there and a tire footprint that's 300% wider than the original tire on the car, right? 300% wider, which is amazing. These beautiful flowing fenders which exaggerate race cars that would make room for the tires to be up in there because they were lowered down there and they needed more room inside there. These cutouts in here, all these little things we're adding, right? What does this say right here? That I'm moving forward, I'm going fast. These styling touches, 1963. It is 2024 that we're doing this video, right? 2024 that we're doing this video. It's almost 60 years old. 60 years old, this car, and it is probably one of the most beautiful cars ever designed. Lastly, what you care about is paint right? Because it needs to shine and it shines so good in here, but I definitely like to do the test. So if you come up here for a second, I'll go over and do that with you real quick. We do this because people say they have a mirror finish in the car, right? Let me pull it up here a little bit where it might be easier to see. Mirror finish in the car, but you can read every letter in there, nice and crisp. And that's what you want. A car like this, when you might go to a car show or something like that, it needs to look good. All right. So you're probably going to want to go to a car show or have some friends over or whatever and open the hood and show them here uh, and I want you to do that but what I love so much about this is this is a lot less maintenance than a regular old school car this is designed for the significant other whichever side you may be on to be able to get in the car and go for a drive it doesn't require you to pump the gas it doesn't care whether it's cold or hot outside right it starts whether it's five degrees or 105 degrees okay this is LS power all aluminum block and head all fuel injected a serpentine belt system uh, a high flow exhaust system, right? If you asked an engine builder to build you this part right here, they quote you in between 15 and $20,000. We don't need to do that. Why? Because GM spent billions of dollars, not billions, let's say it's been close to a billion dollars, designing this engine and, and transplant combination. Okay, you don't need my help to describe the rear end of this car, and I'll tell you why, because there is nobody on the planet that would not know exactly what this car is. We could remove this emblem right here, and no one will mistake this for a Chevelle or a Mustang or a Vega or whatever else, a 442, any of those cars. They know instantly it's a Corvette. People who don't even like cars look at this car and it makes them smile. It makes them think about a time back in the day when these cars were new, right? And then you look through and you see all the double cockpit inside there, the gauges. These are the little things I'm pointing out when I say to you, people say to me all the time, that's a great looking car. And for instance, these are those things. When you can see the dash all the way through here, these great bullet style taillights, the dual bumpers that mimic the front bumpers as well. Do you see the convertible top? No, you don't. No, you don't. You know why? Because they did such a great job hiding it under this tonneau cover. This gas cap filler door right here looks so sweet in its place it's supposed to be. Those are the details that make a Corvette a Corvette is awesome and it looks spectacular under here. And again, some people don't know how to close the hood. You don't slam them like that. You just push it up one more time and boom. All right, so when you walk up to this car, it is beautiful, it really is. And, and although it's nice to walk up to it, you're gonna spend most of your time inside. Let's go ahead and move into there right now.
All right, so when we get inside this car, this is a great thing too because if you're six feet and up, a lot of times people get concerned that uh, they can't drive them. So I'm six one, I got room to shift and what have you. This car is beautifully done, but it also allows for some upgrades and some things like that that you may want to do a little different. For instance, I'm going to just show you. Let me show you what's already been done, and then you could make a couple changes if you wanted to, right? Full custom leather seating right here, custom door panels. I love the way the dash pods are painted a different color than the center of the dash. If it was me, I would put an, uh, an upgraded audio system in the car. This has the original audio system in it for some reason, but it makes the dash look so cool. What you can do is they sell a digital system that can go right here, or we could put a digital system in the, uh, they, sorry, they sell a system that looks very similar to this old school radio, but has digital guts in it, which works great. Or we could put like an Alpine system and hide it in the glove box here, keeping the old school radio in its place, but you stream your music and stuff like that from your phone. The other option too, is if you wanted to uh, do tilt wheel, we could add a tilt steering column in here, which would make it a little easier to get in and out. But other than that, I really just don't see a whole lot of things that you would do. It looks great, it feels great. Full classic instrument gauges there with 8,000 RPM tack, 140 mile an hour speedometer, a full array of, full array of gauges to, to tell you all about the vitals that are going on there. Anyway, inside a Corvette is fabulous. The 63 says to you, like this car was, was designed for for airplane travel. What do I mean by that? But like it has a lot of airplane influences in it, especially with the body design. These twin cockpits, just like a cockpit of, of a jet fighter. It's just cool. Anyway, I think you'd love it. I said anyway a lot of times because anyway, I'm so excited to go for a drive, I don't even care. <laughs> All right, so we talked about a lot of things on this car and we should have laid underneath the car and done half the video there because underneath the car is just as nice. So we went down things like big wheels and tires for fast ratio steering, uh, the upgraded dash and gauges in the car, custom bucket seats and door panels, new top, new paint, new undercarriage, new suspension, new bumpers, new this, new that, new that. This is the way to buy a car. Why is this the way to buy a car? Because if you wanted to build the same exact car, you could spend 140, 150. There are some of these around there for $200,000 and it might take between three and five years to get it. You could be driving this car this weekend. How cool is that? Oh, I just love that. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this 63 Pro Touring Corvette. If you don't mind, like button down there below. That helps us uh, get the message out as well. Share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. We've got new content coming out every day. And don't forget, let's go for a ride. All right, so you asked me, what's it like to to drive a Pro Touring Corvette? Whoa, this thing handles. Oh my God, this is amazing. Anyway, what's it like to drive a Pro Touring Corvette? I'll tell you exactly what it's like. It's like having a modern, modern car, but a good looking one, right? <laughs> Throw in the fact that this car is got great lines. It's got great history. I mean, you look at a, a C2 Corvette and you go, wow. That's a great car. Everybody knows exactly what it is as a Corvette. And then throw in modern running gear with big brakes, big wheels and tires. That, that LS power, you just give it a little gas, no stumble. This is amazing. I gotta tell you what, man, if, uh, if you don't do it soon, you might never do it. You gotta find a way to get this car in your garage.